Okay, phase one of our strip spraying apparatus. Got a little bucket in there. Pretty simple actually. These are temporary, just to hold it straight until we figure out what we're gonna do up top here. I hate to weld onto it and make this permanent, although it wouldn't be the end of the world if those were permanent because just those two, the raw, those two, if those were permanent, it would be all right, but I'd rather be able to take it all off. But anyway, and then these, the one they pulled in, pull those in there. And pull them all the way in for traveling around. And then uh, they also extend, in our case, our rows are so wide. We can extend these out as far as we want. Yeah, so I don't think we'll need any more than that. And then the good thing about this is we can use it up top alongside the road. Those big weeds that grow alongside the road, we can do a, a pre-spray, you know, in the spring and kill those weeds so they don't grow and it'll make a nice you know you know how it gets up there the weeds are right on the road we just run along there with that and spray those down and it'll be nice and then like I say all we gotta do is two bolts and this comes off and just probably end up just leaving these if you wanted to unbolt them there anyway now I gotta hook up the hoses and the tank. This little tank we got, I don't know if it's gonna handle this. The uh, strip spraying. It's great for spot spraying. That's what we got it for, to just ride around out there and use this handle to spray spot spray weeds. But that motor's really tiny. And going down a full row with that thing running every row with two sprayers, two emitters, I don't think I don't think it's going to be enough. Plus the tank is we're going to have to fill it every every ten rows or something. So anyway, <clears throat> so we might have to get a little bigger tank and motor, and just like say we'll just use this for like we always do spot spraying weeds out there.